So squeezed onto the standing outside my house, my gee whiz shuffled to the side, we have a little bit of automotive history. This is a production electric car from 1994. It's a Selectria Force and these are built on a Geo Metro which is uh, a Suzuki Swift sold under the GM brand umbrella and I got a heads up on this one that it needed rescuing and I got a really good deal on it although having had a look at the car I'm not sure the car itself is worth saving at this point or at least I don't want to necessarily put in the effort to save it uh, but it's got a really nice um, lightweight uh, electric drive system so let's left, have a little look around this thing so, obviously being American they put the steering wheel on the wrong side Here we have the main traction motor, which uh, is a Selectria AC20, rated at 12 kilowatts. So there's a, a blower fan on the end, and they actually had their own custom gearbox. And you can see we've got a toothed belt drive down to the gearbox. And this is the front battery box, which I would have taken four 12 volt batteries. And at the moment, the uh, motor controller is sitting down in the battery box and the the lid of the box is propped up against the bin there so the, the controller would have been on top of the lid uh, obviously three phase induction all of the the brackets are quite nicely uh, put together in aluminium and anodized uh, with the, uh, the pot box for the throttle and even things like this little bracket here which is a vacuum switch uh, there's a vacuum reservoir I think would have been here it's missing it's the end of the pipe uh, there's a little vacuum pump in here and then that leads off should hook up here to the brake servo we've got some very perished pipes and the uh, the battery box itself is is made in aluminium and bolted into the structure they built 400 odd of these um, you can look them up on uh, on Wikipedia there's a page on Selectria and the the force and uh, they still pop up for sale in America. Uh, oh, the DC to DC converter to give you your 12 volts um, from the high voltage system. So let's have a little look inside. So, select so react. Oh, keys in my pocket, not easy to get out. You know, made some blanking panels for the dashboard. There's your forward and reverse and neutral. There's um, additional controls. Uh, you've got the ability to turn the regenerative braking off for slippery conditions. Uh, you can tune your your power levels when you want to go into economy mode 
in the centre console, which you can see is really badly beaten up. Um, we've got an amp hour meter, so giving you the state of charge. And uh, down where the gear lever would be, um, it's got electric heater in it, um, which I haven't really looked up the specs of. And um, a timer, which I think can do two different things. One, of course, is um, doing your um, your charge timing, but I think it's also running um, battery heaters, uh, lead acid. Really not liking the the cold much. So let's have a look in the rear. So in the back here we have the main battery box, which is again in aluminium, welded, bolted through into the structure. Uh, these orange panels are the battery heaters, and there would have been eight batteries in the back here, four in the front for a 144 volt system. Uh, we've got some extra stuff in here. I'm not 100% sure about this uh, current sensor, but certainly the uh, thermocouples uh, are associated with this box here, which contains a Campbell data logging system. And there is, I think, what's a GPS antenna up there associated with it as well. So there we've got the the front of the battery box and as you can see no rear seats and this is a blanking panel where the seats will be to give you a bit of a shelf. 